We always hear about the camera night mode when it comes to flagship phones, but the Huawei P30 Lite is £329 or $320, so how good could it possibly be? So to test it, we came out to Leicester in the UK, not exactly the heart of the country, but at the same time, a new and interesting playground. And it turns out there are two different regional variants of this phone. The one I'm using here has got a 2 megapixel depth sensor, 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, and then a 48 megapixel main camera. Alright, so to kick things off, Abbey Park, one of the main public spaces in the city, and there was a fair going on whilst we were there, which was kind of perfect. Also, side note, take a look at what the back of this phone looks like with this much light around. It's honestly unlike anything I've ever seen before. The first shot I got was of a ride in motion. It was going round and round in a circle, and you can see that in the final image. Because the shutter was open for a full 6 seconds for this photo, you can quite clearly see the contrast between the sharp fences on the outside and the wheel in motion on the inside. This is the second shot, and bear in mind you can probably tell there is still some light in the sky at this point, it's not reached pitch black yet. But I felt like this image in particular would really benefit from bringing out the darkness, so I pretty much just grabbed the contrast slider, threw it up till the end, and this is what we got. The final photo in this fairground was taken in the lowest lighting condition of all of them. We found this little wooden hut style building, and this is the shot. I actually found I was still getting that magic moment when you check the photo after you've taken it that you get with the P30 Pro. Even though this camera is not as capable, it's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. You can see the grass over here is a little soft, but then wherever there is light in the image, the phone really takes advantage of that. So before we headed to central Leicester, we actually headed further out. This is the National Space Centre, and let me tell you, it is a weird place to be in the dark. The whole thing shuts at 5, and so we were pretty much the only people there. It's eerie. I found the classic spot where people take photos when they go into the centre, and there's a runway that's really well lit, but then the building itself has pretty much no light on it. So this was the most challenging photo we'd taken so far, and after a quick edit, I added a vignette, I massively increased the contrast, and I used a bit of noise reduction. I was very happy with the result. Alright, Central Leicester, and this is a Friday night we're filming it on, so there are tons of people, cars, traffic, and interesting looking buildings, so this is the perfect place to test the camera. Oh yeah, and by the time we got there, it was pretty much pitch black, so the only lights we did have were either from the street or from the buildings themselves. First up was High Cross, a giant shopping centre with over 100 shops inside of it, and this is the classic angle we took this photo from, and you can actually see, if you look carefully, the traffic trails on the roads. Here's that same photo with a bit of extra pop added. There's also a car park specifically for High Cross, and it's an interesting building in its own right, but there's not exactly any standout colour feature, so I feel like this one actually works better in monochrome with a bit of extra sharpness. We also went inside as it was closing up for the day, and there is a fair bit of artificial lighting inside of here, so it's not exactly a scenario you even need night mode for, but nonetheless the photo did come out pretty bright and pretty evenly exposed. It was kind of annoying me that I'd taken it from a slightly off-centre position, so with a little bit of post-correction, this was the final result. There's a casino here too, and it's a bit of a weird one because it's a beautiful building with this LED wall, but then everything else around it is pretty bland looking. But nonetheless, we got a photo of it, and it's a pretty good example of what the phone's main lens does to any source of light in the dark. There is a massive amount of lens flare. Maybe not for everyone, but personally, I think it adds to the image. In a similar vein, we found a casino called Genting, and this was also in a street where pretty much nothing else was happening, so the building really stood out, and seeing as there was very little colour apart from that building, why not just remove all of it? So we ended up with this photo. I was pretty happy. There are two buildings left. They are right next to each other, and it was kind of something I was saving till the end because I was secretly really looking forward to it. We've got Athena, which is a conference centre, and you probably agree, a pretty strange looking building, and it was kind of a perfect fit for another one of these photos where we just remove all the colour but the reds. And finally is Leicester's fairly self-explanatory curve theatre. I feel like the base image turned out okay, but I wanted to use this as an opportunity to see just how much we can push the image, how much detail and colour could we extract from it. A fair bit, it's no raw image, but at the same time, the difference between the before and after here is pretty substantial. There's not much more to say apart from the fact that I came away impressed. This is more than I thought it would be able to do, considering the price, considering that this feature is barely even advertised on this phone. The P30 Lite is coming to pretty much all major retailers in the UK on May the 10th, and if you enjoyed this video, it'd be massively appreciated if you could subscribe to the channel. My name is Aaron, this is Mr Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.